Hello everyone. Today we will compare the nominative with the accusative for adjectives and nouns. The nominative and the accusative are what are known as cases. The nominative is the first case and the accusative the fourth case of the Slovene case system, which in total has six cases. First, just a very brief review of cases. When we use the word case, we simply have different forms of the same word in mind. The different forms reflect the different functions the same word can have when put in different contexts. Taking the sentence, the police officer shot the robber as an example, the police officer is in case number one, because it's what we call the subject, or the person or thing that acts upon another person or thing to effect a change. The robber is in case number four, because it's what we call the object, which can be a person or a thing that the subject acts on that has something happen to it. The nominative is just the basic form of a particular word in Slovene. Since English doesn't have cases the way Slovene does, you can think of as all words in English being in the nominative, so to speak. So basically, the first set of different forms you learn in Slovene, the first table of noun endings, is the accusative. Pretty much all the books teach you that first. How come? Well, the first reason is that the accusative is arguably the most important case in the Slovene case system. Let's have a look at why that is. I mean, not that the other cases aren't important or that the accusative is so superior to them, but the basic building block of both English and Slovene is the subject-verb-object structure. David loves Janet. I like coffee. He plays guitar. All of them have the same essential subject-verb-object structure in common. The second reason the accusative is learned first is because it's relatively easy. That is, if you're familiar with case number one or the nominative. The accusative follows quite naturally. The aim of today's lesson is to show why it's easy to learn and how to go about learning it. First, let's review one final thing before dealing with the case endings themselves. And that is what we can call the big three of nouns and noun-like words. By noun-like words, we mean nouns, so words like house, garden, garage, adjectives, because they describe nouns, which are words like big, small, expensive, and pronouns, because they replace nouns, so words like he and she instead of Neil or Vanessa. All three operate within the same environment, the same world, so to speak, a world that's governed by the same rules. They're all subject to the same laws, and they share all of the grammatical characteristics, of which there are three, and we refer to those as the big three. They are gender, number, and case. They are inherent characteristics. Whenever you're dealing with a noun, think gender, number, and case. Those are the big three of noun-like words. Now on to the fun stuff. So this is the horrendous table that covers everything that has to do with nouns and adjectives. Sladek sok means sweet juice, čarna kava, black coffee, and dobro pivo, good beer. Let's show how the three categories interact in the same table. Everything that's above the upper black line is masculine, marked with blue. Everything in the middle is feminine, marked with purple. And everything below the lower black line is neuter, marked with green. Those three together form gender. We still have number and case. Everything to the left of the left gray line is the singular, so one of something. Everything in the middle is the dual, so two of something. And everything to the right of the right gray line is the plural, three or more of something. Those three together form number, so we're left with case. Case basically is the different forms of the same word marked one through six. So a particular case is a particular horizontal line of text. So in each of the nine boxes, the uppermost word is in the nominative and the last word in the column in the instrumental, which is the sixth case of the Slovene case system. Let's choose a random word from all of the 9 times 6 is 54 options on screen. Dobri pivi, for example. Pivo, the basic form of the word, is green, so neuter. We're located in the middle column, so exactly 2 of something. And we're in the 4th row from the top to bottom in our square, which means accusative. The gender of dobri pivi is neuter. The number of dobri pivi is dual. The case of dobri pivi is accusative. So if you'd like to order two good beers, then the word you're looking for is dobri pivi, because you, the subject, would like to order, the verb, two good beers, the object. So let's finally focus our attention to the topic of today's lesson, 
and that is comparing cases 1 and 4 through all genders and numbers as far as adjectives and nouns go. First, let's mark all denominatives. Pretty straightforward, right? Now let's add the accusative forms one by one and see if there are any similarities or differences. So, in the masculine singular, both cases are identical in appearance. The feminine singular is different. The neuter singular is the same. The masculine dual is the same. The feminine dual is the same. And the neuter dual is the same. The masculine plural is different. The feminine plural is the same. And the neuter plural is the same. So in 7 out of 9 spots, both cases are the same. This makes it very useful to remember the exceptions only. Actually, there is an additional third exception in certain situations, but more on that in future lessons. First, let's modify our singular dual plural table we've dealt with in past videos to include the new information. So this is our old table from the importance of the singular, dual, and plural video. All of the words on screen are in the nominative. Now let's just add the two exceptions of the nine possibilities where the accusative is different from the nominative. And there you go. You now have a table for tackling cases numbers 1 and 4 for adjectives and nouns. Now I know how difficult it is to transfer abstract tables like this to specific examples. When confronted with a specific example in a grammar exercise, you have to consciously ask yourself a lot of questions to really figure out how to form the answer. And you'll often mix up different ways or different strategies of remembering different case endings and so on. Despite that, which is inevitable, it simply takes a long time to internalize an ending instead of looking for it in a table. Despite that, try really committing to memory what we've pointed out today. No matter the grammar exercise, no matter the context, if we're talking about adjectives and nouns, remember the accusative as generally being the same as the nominative. Then, just remember the exceptions, which are 2 out of 9, which isn't too bad. Good luck, study hard, and aim for the stars.